Good guys and girls, it's Mark and I'm Truth Seeker. And I want to say a special thank you to all you guys and girls that take the time to watch my videos, click the like button, share them. We just cracked over a million views, and that's not easy doing Mars videos. You know, if you want to make money doing these videos, you know, go do uh, like video game or product reviews because there's no money in doing Mars videos. You do it because you love it. And because uh, of you guys and girls in less than a year, cracked a million views. And also remember, guys, there's uh, well over, I got a couple hundred videos, you know, going, going back some real, you know, you know, great stuff about Mars. There's a couple Mercury. Uh, I think there's one or two about the moon, but there's plenty, plenty for you to see. All right, let's get on to this anomaly because I'm pretty excited about this one. Wait until you see this. Okay, here we are. This link will be down in the description below, as always on all of my videos. This is Sol 901. Um, there's anomalies all over this picture. I mean, but the area I'm going to show you right now, I'm probably going to do two videos on this one. Because I'm a little pressed for time, but this area up here. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, we're back. Alright, this is the area I was pointing out to you. This is the first anomaly here. I, To me, it looks like maybe some type of uh, carving. Here, there's a perfect cross carved into this diamond-shaped... Uh, I think these are grave markers, as I always been saying. You know, I've been saying that from the beginning. And then here's another square. There's a couple of cool objects that look like little carvings over to the left here. Uh, let me bring you in here. We'll see how close we can get to this stuff. Okay, this here is a diamond shape. You can see there's a cross carved right in here. I mean, it's pretty clear to see. Um, I just came in and I color matched this to, uh, you know, NASA's color plate. And uh, basically, uh, you know, enlarged it. Look at this square here. Look at this piece. Look at the shape of this. And then it's got some type of frame on the top of it. And it looks like some type of metal frame. Maybe this is the out. Maybe this is the inner part of something that maybe had a layer on top of it that rusted away over time. Who knows? But uh, this is just too cool for me. I mean, that's a cross. And it's not the first that I found. And look at the angle. Look at this. Look at the angles on this thing. Soul 901 is just truly amazing. This picture is uh, great. Is really a good one. I mean, a couple of the pictures in this soul are just really garbage, but this one here is something that I really like. I really like this picture. I mean, look at this. See, they came in here. See how they put this? It looks like a cloud. See how they blur out these? See, some of these are rocks. But most of them are just uh, carvings that they're covering up. Like here. See how they put this box here? Here. Coming with the sharpening tool. I really love the sharpening tool. And this. I just, uh, my last video, I just bought the uh, Photoshop CS6. It is great. It's given my laptop and my desktop a, a workout. There's a lot of things that, a lot of filters and stuff that I just can't use right now uh, because my computers are too slow. But uh, I'm going to do an upgrade on my computers. 
you know, I want to buy something really nice once and just get it over with. You know, I have a really nice computer that I use for my home and banking and all that stuff, but like these two computers I used to just, you know, for surfing the net and pictures and stuff, you know, they're fine for that, you know. But as I started making these videos, uh, they just, they're not cutting it. Uh, I mean, there's certain things that I tried with this Photoshop. It takes, uh, you know, like uh, 45 minutes to, to render, which is just crazy. But uh, I'll get that all figured out. And then down the road, I want to start sending some of these pictures to have them professionally analyzed and enhanced by an outside company that I have no affiliation with. And uh, then I'm going to try taking some of that and maybe, you know, some of my uh, really good finds and have them professionally, you know, analyze and enhance them. And then I want to try maybe getting some one of these news uh, channels, you know, involved somehow. Because if we don't push the envelope, you know, I mean, YouTube is great, and what you guys do for us is great, all the guys and girls that do this, but uh, we just, we really need some type of, uh, you know, big news channel coverage to get somebody, to, some politician, somebody to pay attention, because it's crazy. There's life on Mars, there was life, there might be people up there that need help, um, I've seen aliens up there, you know, I'm not crazy, I'm just a regular guy, like I always say, that's seen some crazy stuff, and I'm just trying to comprehend and, you know, come to some type of understanding of what I'm seeing, because part of me feels that NASA is in the same boat, you know, years ago they came across Mars and the moon and found some crazy stuff. I'm gonna just ramble on, and I'm gonna as I'm I'm gonna point out things as I'm going. Um, some of the stuff I'm not even gonna you know give names to. Let me know what you think it is, and leave a comment. I mean, like this piece here. Look at. I mean, just, I mean look what we got there. And they just put these like this haze. You know, I mean, part of me wants to believe that NASA came across some crazy stuff on Mars, and uh, you know the carvings, the writings, you know. Trying to, uh, they might be trying to understand it just as we are, but uh, maybe that's why they hide it from us. I don't know. Part of, you know, I would think that NASA would want to get this info out as quick as possible in a perfect world and be proud of, you know, what we found. You know, show a lot of these other countries up. But uh, I guess maybe there's technology or something there that, you know, needs to be hidden. See here how they come across? See how this? It's just crazy because there's so many uh, carvings that have facial features. You know, I mean, look at this. There's an eye, eye. There's the nose, and then see how they put these blocks right across. You know, I mean, go look at pictures of the desert. I mean, every other rock doesn't look like it's got a carving in it or uh, a face. I mean, it's just so unique. To these areas and common sense tells you why would we spend all this money to go to Mars if there was just plain old rocks there I mean that's you know common sense you know and all this BS about people you know are gonna be going there and living and it's privatized part of me believes that these people will never hit the ground on Mars they'll never make it there Look at this area here. Look at this stuff. Look at the look at the carvings in there. See what I'm showing you guys is I know this is pixelated. This you know I, I mean blurred, blurred, blurred. We're I'm showing you the stuff that's between the pixel between the blur boxes. There's little pieces that I believe are real, like this little piece here. See? Somehow the computer missed it.
Then we come over to this area here where you can see they came and put a blur right through here. But look at this. This is some type of monument. Sharpen this up a little. And voila. Another cross. Look at the, look at the carvings. Look at the stuff in this area. I think there's another carving. You see how they came and put this blur right through here? carved objects just blown looks like just blown to shreds This is the stuff that they're blurring. Okay. These, when you see this color, I believe it's fake. See, this I believe is a rock that's carved. Then you see the edge of it, and then they come up with these blur boxes. You can kind of see what's behind this. See how you can see through this rock that they created? They created this rock. You could see some of what the edge is here. This is what I live for. This. And they give us souls like this. Between all of this mess, there's a lot of stuff that they missed. And that's the stuff I want to show you guys. This looks like a little train. Yeah, I like it of the engine. I know that's not what it is, but. See how he came in here and blurred this? Let's see if I can sharpen that up a little. See the line? See the blur? This, it's got two ridges coming up here. And I believe a lot of this stuff is metallic. course I don't have anything 100% definitive to prove it but uh, sometimes that color it just doesn't uh, it just lends itself to being some type of metallic object Looks like a square tunnel. See the little little hole there. Look at this thing. Looks like a tuning fork. It's got a shadow underneath it. This is the stuff I love. See, because this is the stuff that they're missing. See, they got the big blur box here, but they missed this. 
It looks like a, some type of it looks like a tuning fork. I mean, I don't know how rocks can be made into that, but look at this stuff here. Looks like it's got pipes coming from it. it looks like a big pipe coming up. And they get into some heavy blurring over here. Let's see if we can sharpen this up a little. And look at this. Sure looks like pipes to me. Look at this thing. It just looks like a tuning fork. But I believe it's big. Big. I, mean, I believe you could probably maybe walk underneath this or walk about the same height of it if you were next to it. Let's see what this is. It's a strange pile of rocks. Here they come in right here. There's the line with the blur. This is clear. Well, clear for NASA. And then they come in and blur this half. Like maybe some type of wall. They heavily blurred this part of it. stuff hidden under the blur. pretty interesting. I mean, it's got some type of arm coming up the side here. You can see the shadow. Some type of pipe or something. Uh, and there's another piece. This is. They put this blur right in here. None of this stuff is important. Why take all this time to obscure it? He looks like a cool dude. Look at him. There's his legs, his arm. See the head, little beak, the two eyes. And there's the other arm. Now, of course, that's a statue. 
I mean, I know some of my viewers are going to say, oh, that's a little alien, but I believe this is just some type of statue. Okay. And there's some cool stuff behind it that they blurred, but that's the stuff that they're missing that I just love to show you guys. Because it defies logic why that kind of stuff would be there. Because there's, uh, you know, out in Nevada, you're not finding rocks that look like little aliens. <laughs> it's just not happening. You know, unless somebody made it and just left it there. But, you know, it's almost hilarious what NASA wants us to believe. You know, as far as NASA's concerned, we're all a bunch of assholes. And they're looking, you know, a whole generations have been raised on lies. And, you know, I believe people have died. Because of some of these secrets. But that's a whole other story for a whole other day. and girls I can go on with this video there's there's a lot of anomalies in this video yeah, I want this image I can go on with this and on I mean there's stuff covered up all over the place I mean, it's, that's a pipe it's, there's a pipe coming out and they come in and they just add this this color see all the blocking here yeah, it looks you can see it's just a bent pipe there there looks to be another cross I mean you just don't see that kind of stuff inlaid on rocks all right guys and girls this is why we really came to this image. This is the main anomaly here. This diamond shape with the cross in the center. And uh, this piece here. I sharpened it up the best I can. You can see that inlay perfect cross. I believe they're grave markers. You know, you get some of this stuff here. All right. If you like what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up and share. I'll see you on the next one. Two Seekers out.